about this and you personally hate the word lesbian and, and I think you said something similar to it makes you throw up in your mouth <gasps> just or a something little. like that? Just With, a, a little. Just a little. That's what okay. I said. Just like. Okay, and so what is your issue with the word lesbian? Lesbian. Okay, so you don't like how it sounds? It, yeah, that doesn't, no. No. It, what were your words? It's not a pretty word. Diarrhea, Peoria, there's some things right. that just don't work. <laughs> like more. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Tim and I have been in what, by gay standards, is... We have been together for nearly 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> First gay marriage in my life. No, because I've been with Terry um, 15 years this yes. year. Yes. Where is he? Well, he should be here, but he didn't see it. That's a relationship, friend. Well, now. People We're going to keep showing moving. Up, I see Willa here. Yes, well, it, that's true. Apparently she cares. That's true. It's a happy home. So, uh, <laughs> love words tonight. And I'm here to engage with people in relationship who can support my needs. I would love someone to, like, pay half the rent. Oh yeah, that's nice. Awesome. But are you looking for it? Value. Like, do you want to? Do you believe like your goal is to find the love of your life and settle down? Or um, you know what? No, it's not to like death do us part. That to me is like ridiculous. just till the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's just till till our love transition, right? And that's a beautiful thing. To know that there's someone a block away is too intense for me. But this is Chicago. Like, if you were somewhere like Springfield or something, where there's maybe six gays scattered about of the whole city. You'd want to be able to find them. I use them. For <laughs> I, guess, I, you know, I guess you're right, but yeah. I, that's why I don't live in Springfield. I live in Chicago. Previously, I'd been complaining about, oh, my feed is so full of these fucking selfies. Like everybody's taking selfies. Well, I have an example. Like a person, I won't say their full names. So we'll just say Doug F, who uh, <laughs> okay. is always on my Facebook page. And he's always posting pictures of himself after he just finishes a run. Sure. And then he complains that he sweating. hasn't, um, you know, his time was bad. And I'm like, how long does it take to do anything? Like, why are you even running? It's 6 a.m. You should be asleep. People who take selfies or post too many selfies, the folks in their news feed feel that they uh, are, classify them as narcissistic and therefore in real life like them less. This was like uh, a for real study, for real study. And personally, I was like, Yep, been there. Like, like I unfollow. This really? is going to make oh, me yeah. want to analyze my page a little bit. It was based on a book, right, mm -hmm. by Piper Kerman. And um, it's about her year in prison, right? She was a, like a drug mule or something, didn't know it. Mm -hmm. um, so she's been thrown into prison for that. And so she's telling the story as a little middle class white woman. And some of the critique has been, would we have been watching this story had it really had a person of color and as, a, as a main character? What do you all think? I don't, I hate this show. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I hate oh, oh wow. Okay. We see some folks who Can don't we get like them out? it. That's my girl. Okay. <laughs> you were saying? So, I mean, you know, it's important to have um, a character, right? This person who's transgender character, woman of color on film, which is exciting that it's actually like a trans woman of color, which how many times do we see folks Never. who are not queer? That would who are not, not happen on regular TV, mainstream TV. Like, we're talking about Netflix here. The Olympic Committee, didn't they say something about, well, it's not a place for... Political or religious protests. And mm -hmm. so what's a protest? Is it kissing? Um, mm -hmm. So you, you just mm -hmm. won a medal. You're, you're supposed to get kissed by your yeah. partner. Right. Or by whoever you're with that moment. Thank you. And, um, <laughs> and so it's sort of ridiculous, like because what becomes political? Our yeah. lives are political because we put yeah. a picture up of someone. or I, um, I can't give up the body. Okay. I think that's okay. crazy. But there's a huge concern about being politically incorrect and being offensive. Mm -hmm. Not for me, really. So, no. why? Well, no, not for you. It's you so have no censors. Like right. homosexual propaganda, what is that? Because I was thinking, as soon as like I heard that, I was like, if Johnny Ware steps off that airplane <laughs> and is like well, in skates on that ice, flames. is that propaganda? Because, you He's know. He's a living rainbow flag. Exactly. Yeah. So I went out to Boys Town, um, the Boys Town here in Chicago. Um, and just, you know, did a poll to see who, you know, is into this. No. You did a poll. I did a poll, yes. <laughs> 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 Very <fun. laughs> well, do you think in general the gay community has, the gay community has stepped up to be as supportive of other issues as they expect people to be of their mm -hmm. issues? You know, any kind of civil rights movement is messy and uncontrolled. Oh, absolutely. And absolutely. you sort of take your moments when they come, and this is the this is the moment for marriage. I think that is the gay agenda, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. standing up for ourselves, but standing up for other people as well. And, and looking day. great. And That's looking right. great. That's right. Ooh. And having a little cocktail. And having, having a cocktail. cocktail. So we'll <laughs>